check, check, check. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. It is 5.45 p.m. Tuesday, November 16th, 5.45 p.m. Central Time here in the great nation of Texas. So I wanted to share a little uh, video here on... Um, on some stuff okay so uh what we're looking at here is um pound against a dollar we're gonna do a little forex analysis here so this this play here for me is based on money flow as you can see my purple my magenta line down here is increasing whereas price is decreasing um we had a divergence here so this is a divergence so we had a low here um a slight higher low not much but a slight higher low also with two uh large green dots um not not of huge significance there um but a, a small um a small contributing factor so what we're seeing with the pound against the dollar here, so we have that divergence on the money flow, the money flow is increasing. So that's my main conviction on um, this turning around and uh, learning how to learning how to play uh, this market here, pound against the dollar, the Forex market here. So as you can see here, I have my little, my 10 pip box and over time I will get better at using that box <laughs> not uh not so much here right <laughs> but um so basically i opt into this guy here at this level on this bar um hopped up i got my 10 pips i was like yeah i'm gonna just let that thing ride it'll be all right and then uh here i am stuck in the trade but i still believe that it'll come back around so i'm not gonna close it quite yet um and uh you know i don't know might, might not be the best idea to just hold on to it but the reason i am is because the money flow is still um getting close to that zero line we had this green we had the red um green comes after red that's you know as far as i can tell in my limited experience doing this but uh that's a divergence there as far as momentum waves go not really divergence here that that is a bit lower of a low but that one went way down considering it's about even um we don't have a clear indication of an uptrend on um momentum waves but we do on money flow that's increasing so ideally probably what we want to see is this guy here and we want to see um something like maybe maybe uh this so this and then uh, another another uh this a, a smaller one here a trigger wave signaling okay that we're gonna go up for a little bit might not you know be huge but it's just telling us that we're gonna go up for a little bit and so when i dig into this i marked this line here based on these tops one two three and um the nice thing about this market is uh it's kind of respectful of those lines huh so um we did have this divergence here and i'm sure people saw that they hopped in but we had this uh downward um line here this downward line uh trend line rejecting so on this candle here we did have uh, let's zoom in a little bit here see if we can see what happened but with a little more resolution it looked like yeah it looks like we popped over it look at this on the hour it's getting kind of compressed here look at that it's just getting kind of compressed there so that trend line was uh it popped over popped over this is on the hour huge bar up boom we came up pinned it down and then boom we uh 
I mean, that's technically not engulfing to the downside, but I mean, you know, it's coming out. And then, then it acted as like a little bit of a support here. Let's see, let's see if uh, there's a spot for 10 pips there, you know. Would, would it have been, would you have been able to get that if you hopped in on the close of that bar? Probably not, actually. Um, you know, you'd probably be stuck in it. That would have been a tougher one to trade on. But here we are, boom, 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 boom. And is this a, uh, you know, it's just a triangle kind of downward compressing against this support range here. You know, so we're t -t 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 getting compressed on in there. However, if we check it out on the daily, which is uh, the primary chart that I've been using on this, um, check it out on the daily. Yeah, I mean, that's where we are. You know, we have it up, we have it down. We're compressed into that little spot there. Not a whole lot of range for people to... Um, you know, get in on a trade. So that's kind of take a little side note here. That's kind of like what I've, what I've been noticing here. You know, I pay attention to these trend lines and stuff. And like, I, I think about what other traders are doing, um, in these, you know, everybody's trying to make a buck. Everybody's trying to hop in at a, um, a spot where everybody else is and then ride the trend with everybody else and get out at a spot where it looks like everybody else is going to get out. And so, why you know we have these triangles compressing down um it's it's basically you know we have we have this whole range here you know sell in this general vicinity here if we're looking at the daily you know like we have our we have our our support range here we have this area here that people are interested in buying um, and then uh, we have this bigger trend sloping to the downside and so there's a uh, there's sell areas here and then within this trend we have another little trend <laughs> you know it's kind of like you slice it up and dice it here but anyway people are hopping in here at this lower end of the spectrum riding it up till this uh, sell zone here and then hopping it bigger down, you know, and then shave off a little bit down. Boom, we broke down to the downside and that wrote it up a little bit. Boom, then we broke back down to the downside. So are we going to continue this downtrend or are we going to get sandwiched in a spot? Is this spot going to be, you know, the spot where we can't, we find support really, you know, we find where the floor is, where we're not willing to go much much lower and maybe we bounce around for a little bit but um now we found this we found this magenta line here you know i i, I guarantee not the only one that's drawn this line because if you take a look at it and i was watching this happen i mean it's really cool to watch um it happen in real time on the day you know there's people play people buying you know at this level you see where it opens. You see where the candle opened here. Candle opened here. People sold out on the day. People sold off. It got bought up, bought back up, pushed all the way. And so we, we, everybody's riding this trend all the way up until this, this magenta line here, this, you know, smaller sell zone. And then people are taking profits off of it and then thinking, okay, you know, look, Maybe that's all just profit taking. Who knows? But um, it ended up closing green. So um, the day closed on the green. And then here, you know, where are you going to buy? Right? The, a little sell pressure pushing it down. Well, we opened here, right? Continuation from this one. Opened here. Um, we let's let's see what happened first can we even see what happened first here what what spot is that okay so we're looking at on this bar that's 17 november so that's yeah that's i mean that's that's what's happening right now is that what i'm looking at 
um, 16 at 4. So that's what's happening today. All right, okay. So this is this is the action for today. This is the action for today from uh, you know early this morning. So let's look at 2 a.m., which is uh, Britain. It's a, the London session that opened. We basically you know cracked off um, opening, dipping down, a bunch of buying. Maybe because people saw this huge bar here and thought, okay, we're we're heading up. Maybe because that like divergence over there, people saw, but then. Um, Opened up this new new bar an hour after the open, um, down a little more little more uh, buying here, and then but then it couldn't quite hold, and then boom, we have this big old candle to the downside with not even much at the bottom of it there. Indecision, you know, are we going up? Are we going down? Same thing here. Are we going up? Are we going down? That's 6 a.m. Getting ready for the New York session. 7 a.m. 8 a.m. I mean that's pretty much pretty much there. Looking at it, we had this big bar, you know, down, and um, you know, checking out, taking a look at this 21. Um, I think it's the SMA here too. Buying off of this, popping up. This wouldn't have been an easy spot to trade in, because look, we got this compression down, compression, compression, and so it's like tighter and tighter for you to actually hop in a trade, like where you know. Where's a reasonable spot to hop in? We have this big area of support here, this big area where there's a good chance people are going to buy as well as you, you know? And then this guy here, which isn't quite as strong, you know, because it's not on like a daily chart, not on like the biggest chart. Well, yeah, it is. It is, right? But it's not like the biggest trend. It's just kind of a smaller trend within a trend. Um, so it's not quite as strong. You're not like quite as confident that it's going to stick. Um, plus you start zooming in, the money flow changes. You know, now we're looking at green, you know, it uh, it gets a little different here. So, um, and now we're being compressed, you know, buys here. Are we going to sell here? Or are we going to hold it? Let's sell here. Let's be safe. And then, oh, okay. Buys up. Now we get compressed in this little spot. Where are we going to go? And then, you know, let's say pushes a little to the downside, sell, sell, sell. Oh, but there's this general, this big spot here where people are buying. If there's some sort of event that like shoves it down, yeah, it could go down further. And that would suck because, um, yeah, I mean, that would suck because, I mean, I'd have to close that trade for sure. But, um, if, uh, if there's that divergence, other people are seeing that too. So they're seeing, okay, there is a divergence here. There's an increase on the money flow. Um, you know, money flows, money flow is increasing. Uh, taking a look at the bigger picture, we have this huge, not maybe not huge. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't follow Forex like a ton. I'm getting into it. Um, I mostly, you know, watch Bitcoin, but we had this. If it looked, if it was like Bitcoin, it would be boom, all the way up. We reached this high, dip down, and you try to reach that high, push up again, and then bleed off a little bit, you know, maybe get a, get ready to push again here, and then boom, up again. That's just, you know, that's just kind of what it might look like to me. The reason I'm saying that is because we had this, this, uh, this red here, uh, but now it's increasing. As this is going down, this is increasing. You know, money flow is coming back in. So um, we have this magenta, and what are we gonna do? Right? We only got we we pretty much got to decide this week <laughs> what um what we want to do with uh, where we want to send this price. It could actually take a little while while to figure out. Maybe we'll make some. Make a little new pattern here. Um, excuse me. But, you know, we'll see. I'm hoping that, uh, had, I'm hoping that this divergence, <laughs> here's what I'm hoping. It's so pathetic. Um, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we just get enough so that I can come, you know, back up and retest this area. That'd be cool. <laughs> um, 
back in the green after waiting for so long. But um, yeah, I, I'm not closing the trade just because I think that it's going to go up. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm still learning this. So um, it might, might not. But that's kind of what it looks like to me. Anyway, that's Forex. That's what I'm looking at with uh, with the Great British Pound against the United States dollar. Uh, SPY, you know, I'm dipping my toes back into that. Bitcoin, let's take a look at the lowest coin. Here's what I got drawn out. Okay. All right, check this out. This is what I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, right? All the time. But, I mean, I've made a few good trades. I've made some bad ones, too. So, but uh, I'm learning here with y'all, too. You know, everybody's freaking out, right? Or a lot of people are freaking out um, with this push down. I marked these in green because... I just honestly wouldn't, you know, be tripping if I saw it get to this. Even this one here. I'm going to put this in green, too. Come on. Don't be like that. Okay. Reason being because, oh, man. So this 42K, when it was getting to 42, I was like, 42 is the secret to everything. When it was around here, I was like, 42 42 i was thinking i should throw down on this super hard 42 and i just like pussy it out and put like just a little bit in but i mean it was cool you know because i got like a solid position to catch this run up here i i, I don't know i just was comp i just felt like this thing was gonna go up and so i threw down on a little bit not like a ton but i wish i would have put more in it no I don't, I don't wish that i don't wish that i i put an appropriate amount of, you know it was risk managed I put an appropriate amount and I learned. Um, I'm not gonna I'm gonna get trip about it. So what do we see in here? Um Bitcoin. Will it retest this guy? Probably. Probably retest here. I think I had some orders in at this spot. Yeah, I had orders. I had an order in, in this spot right here. <laughs> I shit you not. Um but I just the spider lines are just the money maker here so um at least for me they're the money maker is like they can they can they show me where that that thing is gonna wick down to and um i can snag some like really solid spots but it's really contingent on overall where it's going you know unless you just close it with a small scalp which I've I've done I've played with, um, and it's cool. So, uh, but I use I I'm using like lower leverage these days, and uh, just because it helps, it gives me like peace of mind. Which I know Bitcoin, it can it can do anything at once really, but uh, you know it can liquidate your ass on one x leverage for sure. But, um. It's it's a lot less likely when uh, you can stop you out, liquidate you on one X, you know. But it's a lot less likely when you're using that lower leverage, and then just grow it, you know. Take your time, then you won't trip about it as much, you know. Even even just a few X brings that liquidation price up considerably into the zone where it's like possible for you to get liquidated. It's like yeah, you can grow it. I don't know. You've heard this. You've heard that spiel a hundred times. Um, anyway, 5888.8. So, where you know, this one obviously a likelihood that it's going to get to it. It already got to it. Boom, came down, kissed it, and bounced up a little bit. Uh, we're going to we're going to go back down a little bit. Yeah, I think we're going to go back down and test it, maybe even dip down a little lower. And, and like really get the fear going look at this look at this confluence here 
So I marked this uh, retracement from the bottom here up to this. Oh, shit. This should be a little higher. Eh, I guess it's appropriate. Can I even move that? No, it's locked in. Um, up to this top here. So if we are looking at I mean, I mean, that thing rides along that line anyway. So this one likely to get to this one. I think so. I think it's possible that we get down to like that 57 ish area 57 56 8 probably not 56 8 probably like 57 57 uh 57 2 and then uh maybe even lower 54 9 that would get people tripping for sure but then we're getting into that 0.5 golden pocket area and that's a nice little uh you know like cock in the shotgun kind of area it's uh you know you put in spring you put in tension on the spring there for it to pop and you know we are in uh this november november time frame november 16th um getting close to december i think it's totally possible i think this is fine of course, you know, could be wrong, whatever. Um, starts going against me, scale out. And, uh, you know, just throw it up as sucks. Oh, well, I guess that's the, I guess this is the top of it for now. Um, but I just don't think that is. So what else? What else? What else? And here's. Also, I was looking at, you know, the, well, so Bitcoin, yeah, Bitcoin dominance, I mean, it's about like half the market, right? It's like 40 something. Um, it took, it just wham, shwack, shwack. I want to know what happened. Who sold that? Who, how much was sold in this one thing here? Because, I mean, it wasn't retailers. Um, from 63.5, who dropped that thing? 58, 6, uh, 63, that's a 7 grand, like 10%, 10, 10-ish, 10 a little over 10%, right? 10% move down, boom. Um, I just want to know what, like, how that happens. Who, who, who does that? Who's the, the whales, right? Um, anyway, I've been in a bit into Bitcoin for a while. I got into it because um, I was uh, like, you know, I just, I really just didn't, I wanted to be in control of my money. And that was the only thing there. So I hopped in um, for that reason. And now there's just, just all this like, you know, stuff um, that's uh, really cool to, really cool to check out. So that's that. And while I was looking through trading view, I was just looking at all these other things, you know, uh, the 10 year yield, West Texas crude, um, Japan 225, Hong Kong 33. There's all these like all this stuff. It's like really cool to check out federal funds rate. You know, it's like it's this isn't like charted so much as like, you know, we're looking at, I mean, this it's just because it's on the daily doesn't really mean anything. This is the 1st of October, you know, 1st of September, 1st of August. I mean, it's, it's, you know, 0.08. It's, it's, uh, it's down there, man. Look, when was this? 2.4 on, uh, mid July 19. And then, wow, wow, wow. We just dropped to the floor on, uh, it's, it's so cool to, to look through this stuff because it's it's history you know like i i wish people would pay more attention to these charts and like the economy people that are really into politics and like into into all this stuff um at the end of the day why why are they in that because they want uh they feel disenfranchised they want more power you know but when we look at the markets, the markets, the market is, it's a, a graph of where the energy is, you know, money, 
money time is money right money is just a representation of of energy and so we're looking at this is like a it's a history that people say the history of the world is like a history of war i mean i think it's a history of of money that because money is power and um and you can look at it where did i put that uh the hell was I just looking at? Let's look at US thirty. Well, I guess we can go back to the funds, right? Or was that? Um look at how far we've come though. Like, you know, really. Look at look at where we were here. Eighty one. Eighty one. Eighty. Up at nineteen. The doll, where's the D the Z? We're going to have to go a little out further than this. Come on. Where's my damn month? Put that in there. I don't need the two week. Okay, I got that. How far did it go back? Oh, one. The dollar was pretty high. That's interesting, right? Oh, look at this. Boom. Boom. It was just not breaking this 120. I don't even know what that means. 120. Such a, such a noob. Such a, I'm such an ignoramus. Boom. Like, it's, it's crazy how it goes along this, this moving average, too. You know, it's like the... All the geopolitical things that happen, it's just kind of interesting how well it syncs up with like a chart of frigging moving average, you know? Bum, 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 along this. That's a month. No, let's get a week. That's not as much, huh? That's not that much. But that month, kind of. So, um, January 02, so we had September 11th, August, September, September 3rd, but, yeah, um, that's weird, right? Well, I guess the, the dollar just didn't have any, it didn't affect the dollar at all from September 01, that month, and in fact, it kind of went up a little bit, boom. And we just couldn't break that 120 or whatever that. I wish I had got into charting like a long time ago. Checking out stuff. Like it's. And then boom. Just got crushed through. 02, 03, 04. 05. And then here we are. Oh. Little wizard. I wonder what happened around here. What, What's going on around here? It's 07, 08. Anyway, here we are today. Here we are today. US 30. Not doing bad. You know, what are we going to do here? Are we going to go up again? Because it's been kind of on a tear up, just ticking up, right? COVID. This is COVID right here. You know, it's like. It's a, a chart of the world. This is COVID. And here is Jeff Bezos' ride to the top. So, you know, what are we going to do? Just pretty cool. Anyway. Hey, I'll, that's, uh, that's all I got. That's all I got. Bitboy out.